never know what you're going to find when you look at SETI. Hi, I'm Bruce Pattons from Total Education Centre and today's lecture is going to be about the setting of the road, Cormac McCarthy's wonderful novel. And of course, as you'd imagine from the title, the setting of the road is the road. And the setting the road is mentioned significantly throughout the novel. I'll just read three quotes very quickly to you that establish that clearly. An hour later, they were on the road, page four. Then they set out upon the road again, page 133. And more than once they woke sprawled on the road like traffic victims, page 216. And finally, and walked back out onto the road, page 306. There are many, many examples of the road being used in it. And it is certainly um, the, the feature of the novel and the setting of the novel as such. Everything else is incidental to the movement on the road. The road itself is not good or bad. It's a very neutral setting. Um, it delivers both positive and negative aspects to it. So, for example, it is um, described as barren, silent and godless and ash and dust. Similarly, though, the other settings um, are like that, but they offer some little elements of hope and some little elements of despair. The towns and houses they run into deliver both good and bad, just as the road does, and it's what they find and what they make of it that make those settings important. The world, the post-apocalyptic world as a setting, um, is, is very grey. It's ash, it's dark, it's inhospitable, nothing survives. Um, they barely survive, and those that do survive, many, most of them resort to um, what we would probably describe as non-ethical, non-moralistic ways of survival. Intriguingly, the, the, the concept of the road being neutral and, and nature and the environment around us being neutral is very important. Um, for example, let's look at the two houses. One house he comes upon has a cellar full of people being used as livestock, um, and it's very, very gross and horrific. And yet another house they find a cellar full of food and they live a very comfortable lifestyle for a few days before they have to move on. So he always puts those nice contrasts in to take away from that eternal bleakness of the setting. And I think the road um, is a symbol for that movement that they need to make. Um, whatever McCarthy does, he does it graphically and with a language that delivers no doubt as to the setting. Um, he certainly establishes the never-ending bleakness early in the novel. And we read on page six... Um, Let's get my glasses on for this one. On the far side of the river valley, the road passed through a stark black burn. Charred and limbless trunks of trees stretching away on every side. Ash moving over the road and the sagging hands of blind wire strung from blackened light poles winding thinly in the wind. A burned house, raw red mud bank where roadworks lay abandoned. And the settings are all about decay, um, bleakness, despair, nothing moves. If he sees flashes of colour, he knows there's a problem. Um, sound travels so they can hear people coming. They keep a lookout behind them with a the mirror. Um, the whole setting is designed to sort of draw you into the character. The setting's not the main feature. It's the focus on the character. The setting is used to convey how the characters act, how they think, and how they move. And it's what they entangle and meet along the way that's, that's more important than the actual setting. Nothing much changes. The road is the road. Um, and it's the places they come to and the, and the events that they capture do it. That's probably the basics of the setting. There's, of course, more in the notes, but that'll give you a general rundown of what you should be looking for. Um, I'm Bruce Pattons from Total Education Centre. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Bruce Pattons from Total Education Centre and we really hope you enjoyed that lecture on the road. Don't forget to visit us at totaleducation.com.au for all your educational needs and some other teacher notes and student notes on the road and many other titles. We also hope you learn to succeed, that's our motto and we know you can.